Welcome to another episode here. My name is Michael Martinez. I'm here with the live stream revolution. And first and foremost, um, I'm a passionate musician. I play piano and I care about um, giving you some cool tips about how to run audio into your iPhone and Android smartphones and using cool mixers like this. So let's get into it. First, what we have here is the PV PV6. Uh, mixer board and you know one important thing I wanted to go through is gain staging and what that really means and how do you set up your mic when you plug it in well first what we want to do is we're going to take a look at how to gain stage this and this black knob up here is the gain for the microphone you're increasing the level of the microphone that you have plugged into the mixer board here. And we're going to look for a clip light. And clipping means distortion. Okay, so you could see it's very hot. Test. Hey, test, test. That's obviously distorting. Okay, I'm going to bring it back a quarter way. Test. One, two, three. Hey, one, two. Now, we did that. That's pretty good. That is a good gain stage for this mic. Now let me explain why that works. If we go back here, you could see that this green knot, the green light, going past it, you know, blinks in the yellow a little bit, which is fine, but I want my average volume level to be in the green where the last green light is. I want my audio to generally be the average right there. So that's great. Now you'll notice this mixer board doesn't have any numbers stating what this is, but you will often see a zero and all the way to plus three, plus six, and things like that. But zero dB VU in analog world is unity gain, and that transfers very well to most recordings and live streaming situations. So that's what it would be. Now there's no numbers here, but just look for a zero dB on your mixer board and that's where you want your level to to hover I have a piano right here now I need to um, gain stage that okay so I'm in channel 3 and 4 this is a stereo channel stereo input now I'm gonna slowly uh, turn up uh, the gain here so I don't blast my ears uh, let's see I'm gonna have to I'm gonna play a chord on the piano Maybe I'll do this so you could kind of see where I'm at. Okay. And however, there is no distortion here on the piano. So I'm just going to turn it up, the gain knob. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more on this keyboard. got the iPhone right here and pretend I'm already hooked up to my mixer board now keep in mind you're gonna wanna get a USB cable that has a square end on it right I'm not sure if you guys could see that this is what you would normally use to hook up a printer right and then we're gonna get one end of this this the square end which will go into the the mixer part, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend to plug it in. <laughs> It'll go straight and back right there, right? And then the other part. Now you're saying that eh, eh, it's not gonna go like that. <laughs> we need an adapter, so uh, they still make these. Um, this is an iPhone uh, 10 here, so. Um, you know, if you still have uh, the older iPhones, it would you could get something like this. This would be a USB input, and you could also charge at the same time. So all I would be doing is doing this. And then when you got it like that, you would just plug it in, and you are off to the races. That's how I would get this audio into this iPhone. So now you're probably wondering, how do I do it with my Android device? 
Now, it's a little tricky because it depends on the app that you're using. For iPhone, uh, the stock camera uh, app works with injecting audio into your live stream. I use Filmic Pro. That's another professional camera app that you could download on your iOS device uh, or I believe Android. And that'll take audio as well. But for the audio, uh, the Android version of this, it's called Open Camera. And this app will successfully get external audio via the adapter into this phone. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really simple. So let me get this here and pretend I hooked up the USB cable from the mixer. And now it's coming out. And I have an adapter. This is a USB to USB-C adapter because this Android has a USB-C input. So I'm going to plug this in the phone. Just like that, and then I'll turn on the camera app. Now, as you could see, I need to adjust a couple settings in order to get um, the external audio from my mixer board into this app. So we're going to click on the top right. We're going to go to video settings. And you see audio source. All you got to do is click that. And select external mic. Okay, so that's the way how to get that working in the Android device. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate uh, some uh, little tests here, uh, recording into the Android phone and my iPhone and give you some uh, live streaming uh, cuts here. So uh, we're going to see how these all work in action and how they sound. So here we go. Alright, this is a Facebook live stream on my iPhone 13 and I'm connected uh, through the USB out of the mixer board from the adapter which is USB to lightning. This is a test into the stock camera app on my iPhone 13. I just wanted to quickly demonstrate the Samsung Galaxy audio. This is a Facebook live stream. Okay, this is the Samsung Galaxy. I'm using the USB to USB-C adapter. That's how it's hooking up this mixer board right here. Okay, that's how everything sounds. So those were all the examples with the Samsung Galaxy and my iPhone 13 with the corresponding adapters. And as you could hear, it sounds really good. Um, I was pretty surprised with the results. And I think that all, uh, all of this is due to correct gain staging. So knowing your equipment and setting levels properly is key. And just for the fun of it, I'm filming this end segment here with Filmic Pro. It's a professional uh, app you could get both on Android and iPhone to do higher quality video. 
and it also has the ability to bring in good audio too. So I thought I'd try that at the end. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, let me know uh, what you think, and if you have any comments, uh, put them down there uh, below the video. And also, if you want a free tutorial I made for helping musicians with their live stream and connecting various devices like this, head over uh, to Livestream Revolution. The link is in this description here, and you could get access uh, for a nice tutorial video uh, when you sign up on the email list. So thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.